today I'm doing um, part four of my substrate series and I am going to be weighing the pros and cons of paper towel for leopard geckos. So if you haven't watched any of the parts in my series, um, this is just a series weighing the pros and cons of different substrates for leopard geckos. And in this series, I'm not, I'm trying not to tell you guys like what to use and what not to use, even though I do have certain substrates that I like and certain ones I don't like. Um, but I'm just, um, trying to help you guys choose which substrate is best for your leopard gecko. Um, so I'm just making, trying to make it a little bit easier for you guys to choose, um, because there are a lot of different substrate options out there and not all of them are good and every substrate has like different pros and cons to them and it's kind of important that you know these things so that you can choose which one is the best for you. So paper towel is probably one of the most popular substrates for leopard geckos. A lot of people just use it for like baby leopard geckos or for quarantine enclosures for leopard geckos. Um, some people do use it for adults and just use it for them their whole lives, um, but a lot of people use it temporarily and then switch to a different substrate. But paper towel is one of the most popular options for substrates, mostly because um, a lot of people have it on hand and it's just like not something that you have to look really hard to find. You probably already have it in your home and it's like a lot of people use it because they don't want to risk compaction with loose substrates but yeah it's probably one of the top substrates for leopard geckos out there so as always we're going to start with the pros so the first pro is that paper towel is cheap and on hand so most likely you already have paper towel at your house on hand where you can just um, use it for your leopard gecko cage and most paper towel is pretty cheap and you probably already have it So you don't have to like go to a pet store to get it um, So that's probably one of the main things why people use it and with a lot of substrates You have to go to a pet store that has reptile stuff to get it um, And it's not the easiest or cheapest stuff to find But with paper towel it's just something that you can just use right away. You don't have to like go to a pet store to buy. And that's a really good thing because you don't want to have to be looking everywhere for a substrate and you don't want to have to be paying a ton of money for something. The second pro is that paper towel has a relatively low risk of impaction. So this is a main concern of a lot of people when they're picking a substrate because some substrates can cause impaction in leopard geckos and people have had their leopard geckos get impaction and even die from impaction. Um, and it is a thing. Um, and a lot of people are, don't want to take risks with that kind of thing. They just want something that has like a very low risk of impaction. And paper towel is somewhat possible for your leopard gecko to get impaction, but it's not likely. I'll probably talk about this later in this video. But, um, for the most part, paper towel, um, poses as a very low risk of impaction, and it's a pretty safe substrate as far as that goes. Um, like, it's solid, not loose, and, um, there's a very low chance that your leopard gecko could get impaction from the substrate. So... The next one is that paper towel is sterile and great for quarantine enclosures. So paper towel is probably one of the safest substrates out there. Um, carpet, for example, um, can harbor bacteria, even if you wash it, um, because it's kind of, it's somewhat thick and bacteria can kind of build up in it. But with paper towel, it's really thin and bacteria can't really build up that well and you replace it, you usually replace the paper towel so it doesn't really have a chance to build up bacteria. Um, so it's like really sterile and great for quarantine enclosures. 
Um, it's one of the main things people use like when they're quarantining their leopard geckos when they first get them because they don't want to risk impaction and they want to make sure their leopard gecko is healthy and safe. So the fourth pro is that paper towel is easy to replace. So with some substrates like tile and carpet, you have to clean carpet and you have to clean paper tile. Um, but with paper towel, all you have to do is just replace it. Um, it's cheap, so it's not going to cost you money, very much money to just put new paper towel in there every once in a while when it gets dirty. Um, and it's just really easy to replace. Um, and all you have to do is take out the paper towel and put new stuff in there. So it's a lot easier to clean out than a lot of other substrates, which is a big plus. So the fifth one is that paper towel generally looks pretty nice in an enclosure. So it's white and it's clean and it's just looks pretty nice in an enclosure. Um, it of course doesn't look that natural, but it, do, it can make an enclosure look pretty nice because it kind of makes the enclosure look bright. With carpet, for example, I don't really like it because it just looks really bad in an enclosure to me. I like setting up my leopard gecko enclosure so that they look nice. Um, and paper towel can really make your enclosure look pretty nice. So the next pro is that calcium powder doesn't really show up much. So with certain substrates like tile and carpet, for example, um, when you dust your insects with calcium powder, it kind of just gets all over the substrate and it kind of makes a mess and it kind of, like you have to clean it a lot um, because it just looks really bad. But with paper towel, it doesn't really show up very well because it's white and it just kind of blends in with the paper towel. So that's definitely a big thing because you won't have to like, it won't look bad and um, you won't, it won't constantly like be nagging you to clean the enclosure um, because there's calcium powder everywhere. You won't really be able to see it. So that's definitely something that's nice because it's kind of annoying when you have to be constantly cleaning the enclosure because there's calcium powder all over the substrate. So the seventh one is that paper towel is pretty absorbent. So if you accidentally like spill the water dish or something, the paper towel will kind of, will basically just absorb it and you won't have to like replace it or anything um and that's definitely something nice because like if you accidentally spill some water it'll just absorb itself and you won't have to like mop it up or anything it'll just absorb the last one is that paper towel doesn't lower the heat in the cage so with some substrates that are like more thick have more of a thick layer like loose substrate um, and sometimes reptile carpet, um, they can kind of diffuse the heat a little bit. Paper towel is really thin. It's, it's kind of like really thin and doesn't, and won't really, um, diffuse the heat at all. It'll just let the heat come into the enclosure because it's a pretty thin substrate and it won't block off the heat from the enclosure like some substrates. So now we're moving on to the cons. So, the first con is that paper towel doesn't really mimic the leopard gecko's natural habitat. So this is one of the main things you'll want to be aiming for because leopard geckos will feel more comfortable in something that's similar to their natural habitat in the wild. Um, and when it doesn't mimic that at all, it's kind of it can be kind of stressful for them because it's just not what they're like used to. And what they're built for. Um, so it's kind of important that you mimic their natural habitat at least somewhat. Um, and with paper towel, it's not really similar to their natural habitat at all. They have more loose, like they have more packed, but also kind of loose ground in their natural habitat. Um, and they don't have any, they don't have like solid ground 
Um, like paper towel, they wouldn't experience anything similar to paper towel in their natural habitat, I can tell you that. Um, and that's one of the main cons because you want something that's at least a little bit similar to their natural habitat. And paper towel is like, not at all similar to what they would experience in the wild. So the next con is that your leopard gecko's claws can get caught in paper towel and they can also like shred it up if they do that because they're gonna try to get their claws loose and they could like pull up the paper towel and shred it kind of and that means you'll have to replace it and it's kind of a stressful experience if your leopard gecko's claws get stuck in the paper towel um because it can happen and it can just pull up the paper towel and yeah that's kind of annoying you'll have to replace it and it's also kind of stressful for your leopard gecko because their claws um can really easily get stuck in the paper towel the next one is that paper towel can cause impaction sometimes there's a very low risk of impaction but it is possible let's just say your leopard gecko is eating and they accidentally like grab the paper towel with their mouth and they pull it up they could accidentally like tear off some of it and eat it and that's not something you want your leopard gecko to be eating it's not really safe at all it's probably even worse than your leopard gecko ingesting loose substrate um because it's not natural and it's going to be something that's kind of hard for your leopard gecko to digest. Um, and, it is, it, and it is possible that your leopard gecko could not get impaction if they accidentally tear up the paper towel and swallow it. So the next con is that paper towel does not provide digging enrichment. So, like I've said before in multiple videos, um, I believe that leopard geckos should have the enrichment of digging. Some leopard geckos, um, like, really like to dig. Not all leopard geckos, but some do, and it's definitely good for them to have that. Um, and paper towel definitely does not provide that for them, um, and it's really good for them to have, like, to be able to dig. Not all leopard geckos will, but a lot of them do. Um, and they kind of do in their natural habitat, and they have more loose ground in their natural habitat, and they wouldn't be able to dig with paper towels, so it's just kind of a lot better for them to have something that they can dig in, and paper towels just does not provide that. So the last con is that insects can burrow under the paper towel and can be hard to find. So... Like, when you're feeding your leopard gecko, sometimes I hand feed, so it's not really a big problem for me, but sometimes the insects can escape. Um, I would definitely recommend you hand feed your leopard gecko if you can, because crickets, if they're left in the enclosure for a long time, they can actually eat your leopard gecko, um, and I don't want to risk that. Um, and also they can be kind of stressful on your leopard gecko if they're like crawling ar around on them. Um, and also they can kind of eat things in the habitat and breed in the habitat, which is not something you want. They can also like burrow under the paper towel if you like leave them in the enclosure and like breed there, which is definitely not something you want. You don't want like a bunch of crickets crawling around in your enclosure all the time and it can be hard to get them out of the out of the paper towel if they burrow under it um so yeah that's something that you'll want to think about because if you let crickets run around the cage they can really easily just burrow under the paper towel and like breed there yeah so i think that's just about it guys um yeah, if you have any questions or anything you want to say, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. Um, also, as always, if you have any suggestions for videos, I would really appreciate that. Um, I don't have, like, I kind of sometimes get a little bit stumped on what videos to make and what videos you want to watch. So if you have anything 
um, please leave it in the comment section. Um, and I'd really appreciate that, but don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.